You look handsome. Oh, you look scared. Let me see your hair. Let me see your hair. What would you like to wear? Which one? Or this dress? Or this dress. This one? Yeah. Perfect. You did? <laughs> well, awesome. We are headed to the hospital this morning for Boone's checkup appointment after his surgery a few weeks ago, two weeks ago, and x-rays, um, just his routine x-rays. I remember when we first started having to take Boone to the hospital, he was a newborn and we had to go like multiple times a week and it was in the dead of winter and loading two kids up and a newborn who eats 24 7 was so stinking hard and i didn't know the hospital i didn't know where we were going and it was just really stressful and now we've been so many times and we do this we've been there we've done that so it's a lot less stressful nowadays when we go i have it down to a science and today we have to get x-rays first and they don't schedule x-rays so it's like first come first serve so we have to be there like an hour earlier than our appointment and we're kind of running a little bit late today. And where we get x-rays is on the opposite side of the hospital where he actually has his appointments where we um, talk with his surgeon and stuff. A lot easier now than when we first started going. Let me tell you what. Just praying we get a good parking spot that's close to the doors. Could have been worse. So we're all loaded up and we're going. I'm running fast, girl. I'm just kidding. It's kind of slow. We didn't have our orders in. So that took a little bit longer than normal. What are they doing? Tell me. I don't know. Duckling boo. They're taking x-rays of its wands. Yeah, so we have 10 minutes to get to our appointment now. So, x-rays in use. They make him really mad. Yeah, yeah he's crying. It's the weirdest thing because it's like this machine and they press his chest up against the machine. It's so weird because they can't lay him down for some reason. Now we go across the hospital to our appointment in three minutes. <laughs> we made it on time. Balls. And he just got weighed. A ball. They have and a ball. toys. Ball. And we're just waiting on our doctor now. Yep, cool. So we're done at his appointment. Uh, Dr. Dave looked at his x-rays and the Boone's left lung is the underdeveloped one. And the lower portion of his left lung looked really hazy on the x-ray, which is concerning. Because it could be the colothorax coming back or just something going on it just didn't look normal so they ordered a CT scan for today but they didn't want me hanging around for hours and hours all day so they are scheduling a CT scan hopefully for tomorrow and he said that it doesn't look like intestines are back in his diaphragm which is very good news it could be just it, it, it could even be like a shadow on the x-ray. We don't know. But he's just, he wants to be overcautious. 25% of congenital diaphragmatic hernias do come back. But if it is intestines in his diaphragm again, they'll just go back in with the scopes. And he'll be operated on again. It's in God's hands. He's acting fine. So I really, I think it's just a weird thing. Now we're going to head to the playground. <laughs> Can you say oil? Ew. 
oil car car that's kind of cool huh I unloaded the kids and then we went inside and we weren't supposed to go inside so some old man helped me and he was so nice and he helped me get all the kids in the buggy and push him back out here yeah. uh oh Thank you, bud. Wow. Y'all are awesome. We got home and I put the boys down for naps while I worked out and Cherokee played downstairs with me and then I painted some. And now everybody's awake from naps and I'm making tacos slash playing outside with the kids. Hey, sassy britches. Hey, sassy man. Hey, uh, this is my friend from work. His name's Christian. You say hey? Uh -uh. No? Okay. We're here, and Josh is going to play Josh, frisbee with the baby. church. These and I'm going to sit North here with Bell children. They can't have to go with Ellen. This one was the USA one. USA. USA. Yeah. USA. Hey, do you want your bottle? Look at yourself. Are you my stroller? Forgot to end the vlog last night, but husband and I were so tired. This is the next day. Boone and I are at the hospital again, and we're just literally waiting because something, confusion, hospitals, you know, all that stuff. We're here just hoping and praying that he actually gets the scan today and we don't have to wait forever because that's frustrating. But he hasn't eaten a bottle since six this morning, and I'm having to hold him off because he will have have to have anesthesia for the CT scan so he's not allowed to eat before it so that's kind of frustrating it is what it is so hopefully I'll get the call in a little while and we'll get to check in and have the appointment that we're scheduled for so I'll